This video is for fat people and fat people only. Breaking a toilet seat is morally neutral. It is not shameful, you're not a bad person, it's okay. Remember, these products were not designed to last and they certainly weren't made for our bodies. It's just a toilet seat. Fat people are allowed to eat what they want without feeling guilty about it. Get over it. What it's like to be a fatty on a plane. Yeah, make up, make out. I mean... Stop posting your fat fucking selves on TikTok. I'm sick of seeing all these fucking roles. I don't see how you can hate from outside of the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> Leg out. Universal Studios for not making roller coaster rides or their rides like seats for obese people. I think Universal's in the wrong for this, and I don't think you should be victimizing yourself by promoting an unhealthy lifestyle. Obese, they're obese. They're like 4X, 5X, and I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just calling it what it is. Their one is airplanes. They're like, I shouldn't have to buy a Comfort Plus or First Class just to sit on the airplane. They need to accommodate us for just regular seats. That, that is victimization. It is genuinely victimization. The perfect example of fat phobia and thin privilege. People deserve to take up space. People deserve to be accommodated for their body sizes. Obesity is a slur. It's based on the BMI, which is racist. It was not created by a healthcare provider. It was created by a mathematician. It's not really beneficial for health at all or to determine health use words like person of larger size. I think it's funny having a thin person constantly use that word and blame the individual for their weight gain, not knowing their circumstances, um, saying that it's not corporations jobs to accommodate those people. It's just saying that like fat people don't matter. It's okay to discriminate against them. This person even said like the majority of people are thin and they are regular size even though that's not the case at all it's kind of comical because they're so privileged in this world that they can only see this world from themselves and they don't truly care the effect that their words have on fat people and how harmful that is and how discriminatory this is and there's no like kindness or compassion about how that would feel for the person in the larger body or any kind of understanding either that it is a person you are talking about it's a person they're not invisible but all you keep saying is obese is obese you don't deserve to be accommodated because you are fat you do not matter because you are fat fat people matter fat people matter they are people and they matter. Know someone's health by looking at them. Have a body, oh yeah. I'm very sorry that you have to have a body. Yaddy, 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 yaddy,
quick outfit of the day. Why do you see Fashion Ella? The jeans, Target, the Birkins, coach bag, and the sunnies. And the hair is fake. Now this, this is a bikini body. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Vanessa. I ate in a day as a 260 pound fat woman. First I had some almond milk and cinnamon toast crunch with some Kool-Aid. My boyfriend surprised me with a strawberry shake. Another Kool-Aid. Club sandwich from McAllister's with a pickle and some potato salad. And the best lemonade. One ice cream sandwich. Another Kool-Aid. Ended the day with two packs of Teddy. People can't just self-love their way into body liberation like thin people can. I can love my body as much as I want. That doesn't stop the fact that people label it a disease. They're doing everything they can to eradicate us. If I hear any of you say that your New Year's resolution is to lose weight, I'm gonna laugh in your face! <laughs> Come on, get a grip! What is it, 2002? <laughs> Get it together! Do something interesting with your life! How much of your pursuit of thinness, or what you call health, is actually a pursuit of thin privilege? Ooh, this is a good one. Kayla, your fat positive therapist. And when we're talking about thin privilege, we're talking about how society treats you better if you are in a thinner body. The world is made for thin people. You are assumed to be healthy, kind, active, morally good, all these things based on the size of your body. And so what this does is when people are in larger bodies, they're going to manipulate their bodies and end up feeling like crap in order to engage in that thin privilege. They just want to not feel terrible for once in their life. They want to feel accepted by society. They don't want to be taught that there's something wrong with them. Uh, so this belief system encourages diet culture. It encourages um, having this ladder effect where we are treating people who are thin and white at the top and then everyone else can go below them. It's a social construct. It means nothing. What I eat in a day as a fat bitch. Okay, so I had an MRI this morning. Couldn't fucking eat. That's weird. So then afterwards, my husband said, let's get McDonald's. And of course, I was on board. So this is me enjoying the most delectable medium fry. And I sadly did not get a McChicken today. I was feeling like a burger That's girl kind of day. Like. So that is a McDouble. Add Mac sauce. And if you don't add Mac sauce, fuck you. Oh, fuck. That shit was good. I mouth water and thinking about it. Okay. And then I washed it down with a Coke. A spicy Coke. Then I came home. This was a couple hours later. And a bitch was hungry. So I made the same wrap I had yesterday with roast beef, pickle, and cheddar cheese. But this time I added green onion. And bitch, I am literally fucking Gordon Ramsay. That shit was so good. I washed it down with water. And I had some strawberries because I was still hungry. And fuck, you see how red and juicy and plump that bitch is? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> okay, and then I was like, fuck, I'm still kind of hungry like a little bit. So I had me some goldfish. And if you don't get the extra flavor blasted, fuck you. Great. Then for dinner, I had tilapia with dill sauce, some jasmine rice, and broccoli. If you didn't know, bitch does like broccoli. And the food was delicious. I am absolutely a chef. Love you guys. Goodbye. I put the packet on the glass. What glass? The little glass dish in the microwave. Got it. I closed the door. Which door? The door to the microwave. What is wrong with you? That's St. Louis on deck. It's Delaware, Connecticut. It's New Jersey, got hella bricks. It's Queens, Brooklyn, and yeah, they rallin'. Bronx, Harlem, and Staten Island. Pimpin' ain't slick, and they ain't say nothing. Fit check. My shoes are Forever 21. My pants are American Eagle. My top is from Fashion Q. And my purse is from Burlington Co. Factory. Super cute. I just forgot that I said I was gonna record everything I ate. So I already kinda ate all my rice. And most of my green beans. But I still have chicken. <laughs> and so I'm gonna eat anyway. Here we go. Oh my god, 
not I love your skirt? Oh, thanks. Where is it from? It, it's from Torrid. Wait, where? Uh, just this place called Torrid. What did you say it was called? I'm gonna look this up. I can't believe I've never heard of this. I can. I can believe that you have never heard of this store because it's a plus size store for plus size people like me. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but the stores that you like and the stores that you shop at and all the stores that you care about, they only go up to like a size 12 or 14. And that actually only covers like 30% of women in America. But hey, since all of your clothes are mainstream fashion, why would you ever stop to think about where the other 70% of women in America have to shop and what those stores names are called and what kind of clothes they carry. It's from Urban Outfitters. Oh my God, so cute. Can I be your TikTok crush? I just want everyone to know if your ass to fupa ratio looks like mine, if we're looking similar, your pussy's elite and I don't make the rules. Here comes the fat bitch. Hello, fat bitch. Welcome. Here she is. Yeah, you could call her fat, but don't forget she look good. You could call her obese, but don't forget she look good. You could call her chubby, but don't forget she look good. You could call her all that, but don't forget she look good. Llego a la disco vestido de Jordan Y la baby se me pega con un rico splash Conjunto de Nike y una Air Force One Es rapera como yo y le gusta bailar Ella sabe si la beso lo que puede pasar El panticito se le moja y eso no es normal Después de la disco nos vamos a cuch Calladito que ninguno se puede enterar Dándome como cuando la conocí I was blessed to be fine funny, stylish, and thick. Lord, when do it end? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being too pretty. It's sickening. Lord, look, look at how cute I am.